Hey guys, what's up? We're Xbox here, and I am finally back for another video. My apologies for not having a video out in a while. I actually just got Xbox Gold, um, so, yeah. Ah, no. Oh, that didn't work. Huh. Okay, well, that just sort of revealed what this, uh, thing's about. Um, well, anyways, I just got Xbox Gold, so I've been playing on Xbox a little bit. If you guys want to add me, my username's Woodionify, which is my Minecraft username with IFY at the end. I have a couple cool games. Anyways, this isn't about Xbox. This is about TNT Run. So we have this awesome game called TNT Run. Everybody knows what TNT Run is. If you don't, then you shouldn't be watching this. You run around. It's both an awesome multiplayer game and an awesome single player game because it's like, you know, build your own parkour course where you have to like loop back on yourself and try to, you know, live as long as you can without falling. And this is extreme parkour. I'm going to call it par um, X parkour because what this is, is this is not only... Um, or not parkour, um, this is extreme, uh, TNT Run X is what I'm calling it. Because what you can also do, when you're playing multiplayer, is you can toss a, um, pretty much almost a grenade, which has a chance of causing a chain reaction. So let me demonstrate what that means. So when I throw that, you see nothing happen. But, let me see if I can do it, there we go, you see that? The entities from the pressure plates actually bounce around, and they will cause far more than one to, um, break. So sometimes you can actually get like a whole like five or six of them to actually pop from it, um, which makes it really, really useful. And it's a lot, lot, lot of fun. So if somebody's running next to you, you can just toss this next to them and they would just drop down. Or even better, you know, like you could just put little potholes everywhere. And you don't even have to have this. So you can just sit here and go, la, 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 You know, just screw everybody over. Well, anyways, as you might realize from those twin towers over in the distance, this is not merely a TNT run game. And let me show you why. So, I'm going to break a little bit more of this. Woohoo! And um, you also have jump uh, speed boost and jump boost, which makes life a little bit easier. Because otherwise you would fall flat on your face, probably into the void. No! Okay. So, um, yeah, you see there's nothing under it, it's just TNT and then you fall into the void. Well. So, this map is pretty, you know, just screwed up. I mean, it would take a long time to repair this. So, that's why TNT Run is tough for multiplayer servers if you don't have a TNT Run plugin. Well, I present to you the solution. Ah. And, clearing finished, starting rebuild. And there we go. Alright guys, so this here is my auto-regeneration TNT run course, um, and this thing is, let's just call it intense. <laughs> so, here are the perks of it over a normal TNT run. A, it's auto-regenerating, so you don't have to rebuild it every time, and you don't have to like world guard and all that kind of stuff, and, you know. It's so much easier, and all you have to do is just drop this world in, or even just take this world and then copy and paste it in. Um, except not with World Edit, because World Edit doesn't accept command blocks, or at least the version I'm using. Now, I am actually on a, a vanilla world right now. I do not have any bucket commands, like, you know, home, doesn't work, um, whatever. I'm, I, I'm on a, uh, vanilla server. Um, well, it's actually a LAN world, but, um, yes, yeah, so this is totally vanilla. And if you hadn't noticed already with the giant towers, I'm just gonna call them the Twin Towers of Amazingness, um, I actually tried MC Edit, and... I was frustrated as hell with it, but I finally got it to work, and I liked it a little bit. Uh, the only reason I used MC Edit, though, was because I had to use a filter, and that filter was the Seth Bling Set Block Filter. And the Set Block Filter, um, if you don't know what that does, pretty much um, allows you to create structures and then have them built over and over again using towers of command blocks, like so over there. So, I'm going to fly over here and just show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and regenerate the map while we're at it. Alrighty, so, I'm going to go over here, and you can see some of the redstone is still lit up. And, um, I'm not really sure exactly how the towers work. There's just a lot of redstone involved, and it just sets, you know, redstone blocks all the way around here, and then it covers everything in redstone blocks. Yeah, well, anyways, pretty much how this works, in all simplicity, is when you press the button... Um, along with clearing your inventory, giving you a fishing rod, giving you the speed boosts, 
um, and saying that it's restoring, it sets this block right here to a redstone block. And this block, first thing is the first thing it does, this right here clears everything. So that right there sets it to zero, and you see it's just setting everything to zero. It's replacing the blocks with the block ID of zero, in which is air. Then it comes over here, and then after eight ticks, it sets this redstone block back to air. So if you watch, I'll put a redstone block here. And after this repeater, it'll actually lag. After this repeater t fires, then that redstone block will disappear. There we go. And then we have a pulse going down there. And that pulse will go up that tower and go ahead and rebuild it. Because this one destroys it, and this one rebuilds it. Now, why do you, why does it have to be destroyed, you might ask? Um, and this, that's a, that's a pretty good question. And when I built this originally, there was one huge problem with it. And that was what makes it so much fun, the entities. So, it, when, like I showed you before, when I, um, like, if I throw my fishing rod down there. Let's see if I can do it a couple times. There you go, you see how, you see how it makes a chain reaction? Well, if the chain reaction doesn't occur, so let's just do this for a second. You'll see that we still have a couple pressure plates on the map. Now this is actually in the other area. So, uh, so if I did this, you'll see that actually ignites it. So that doesn't work because if we put another block here, then it would actually ignite it, as you can see there. So, I actually had to delete all of it, because I couldn't use clear lag, because so I was trying to make this in vanilla. I actually had to, had to make it delete everything, just so it would allow me to, um, you know, go through and build this without having random potholes in it. Because if I didn't have this, then after a tough match, then there would be little potholes everywhere, and it would be a pain in the arse. Um, so that's about it. I will put a world download up later. I don't exactly have enough time for it right now. Um, I, I will put a world download up later, especially if you guys want one. Um, you know, but it's sort of self-explanatory. I mean, it took me about 30 minutes. So if you want to go through and make this yourself, be my guest. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't even care if you give me credit or not. Um, also, I want to see if anybody notices this. Does anybody see Zelda riding a horse? Like, I don't know why I see it, but I do. It's just like, it looks like Zelda riding a horse. So, like, you know, that's the head up there, and that's his hair, sort of. And then there's a sword coming out, and you see the little loop. And then those are the horse's legs. He's like, you know, you're going, giddy up, giddy up. I don't know, but, like, look at that. It looks so... So weird. It, I swear, it looks like Zelda riding a horse from up there. Alright, well, that's just me being an idiot. So, um, oh yeah, I forgot to explain this. So, how this works, let's make sure I can do this without obliterating any of the command blocks. Okay. So, what this does is I have redstone dust here, the button's on this block. When the button is pressed, it powers this block, which powers this redstone dust. This redstone dust powers this block, which powers this repeater. This repeater powers this command block that says resetting map, then it goes to uh, the wireless signal, then it goes to um, give everybody speed, then it clears everybody's inventory, gives everybody a jump boost, and gives everybody one fishing rod. So, um, that's, you know, I mean, it's just sort of elementary, there's not really much to that, you know. It's pretty easy, but it's really, really, really cool looking. I mean, just watch it. It's just like, woo, and everything just disappears like a boss. And um, remember, when the stuff disappears, the sole reason of making this stuff just you know go pop is because we need to get rid of the entities. So um, since all the entities are gone now, we can go ahead and start playing a new game. And just just for the hell of it, I'm gonna see how long I can last. Da 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 da. If you really want a uh, intense game, try not jumping, because that's hard. You have to, like, plan out where you're going to run so you can't jump. <laughs> but I'm, I, I, think I'm, I think I'll try jumping this round, just because, yeah. <laughs> but if you ever played a uh, single-player TNT run, it's actually quite a blast. You know what? Hell, I'm going to try not jumping, just, just because... And also, the longer you run, you also get little grenades that you can toss, and also cause the chain reaction. 
So like as I so if I run across my own tracks, then eventually I'll end up picking up a uh No Okay, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna try jumping now. <laughs> eventually I'll end up picking up a uh, pressure plate and I can use the pressure plate to pretty much drop a bomb. Oh hey, I'm flying. So it's like little 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 no fuck. You know, just drop a pressure plate down. Nice chain reaction. So toss a couple pressure plates and you can wreak a little bit of havoc and you know might 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 drop somebody dead, might drop somebody's head, whatever. Drop somebody's pants. You're gay. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyways guys, um Nah, I'm gonna go feel ashamed about myself for that really crappy joke. Anyways, guys, I'll see y'all later. Um, again, I really do apologize for not having a video out so recently. So, I did try to put a lot of work into this, and even though it might not seem like something really cool, um, I'm pretty proud of it. So, if you guys like it, then please leave me a comment, and maybe even a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, anyways, guys, I really do hope y'all have enjoyed. Um, yeah, and sorry to all my subs for not putting a video out. I have been really busy, although mostly with Xbox, considering I'm not doing terribly well in school. <laughs> Alright guys, well anyway, I'll see y'all later. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing this, I'm gonna see how long I can last. I'll have one more life. One more life till my death. What's, what's cool is you got- No! Shoot! Damn. Okay. Oh well. Um, you know what I should do? I should put TNT up here. LOL! Oh, shit. Well. I think I might have some repairing to do. Ah, shit. <laughs> Crap! Well, Jesus, there goes, um, two hours of work. You guys better have enjoyed this video, because I just screwed myself over. I'll see y'all later.